This is the grade six math practice test for TN ready. Question number one currently in this version. This is a non-calculator section, which is why they ask this type of question. What is the product of 3.28 and 2.9? So the first issue here is really, do you know what the word product means? That's important. Um, product, of course, means multiply. So in the old days, we would say this is a times question. So we're going multiplying. Let's look at the answer choices and see if we can eliminate things ahead of time. If we look at the ones place, three and two. And last time I checked, three times two is six, which means since there are more pieces, it's at least going to be above six. It's going to be six or more. So anything that doesn't have six point something or more is out. So 0.618, get out of here. This is impossible. This is mm, still looking good because it's got a nine. This three said no, that's out. So from here, I can start doing a bit of multiplication. Now I'm going to use the more traditional algorithm, I suppose, or I mean, let's face facts. The numbers are very close. This is a little bit more than three and this is almost three. Last time I checked, 3 times 3 is 9. So I'm going to guess it's going to be this one. Just, I just feel like that's a thing. I could also just go ahead and do it. 9 times 8 is 72. So I have a 2 there, and I bring up 7. Well, when I set this problem up, when I get to the 2, I'm going to put a 0 there, right? So the last number is going to be a 2, and this one ends in a 2. That also sells my story. But back to the prob problem at hand. 9 times 2 is 18, and I add 7 to that, so 25, because 18, 19, 20, and then there's 5 left. 9 times 3 is 27, 28, 29. Then I put my 0 there, and I'm going to mark those out or erase them. 8 times 2 is 16, so 6 and 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 more is 5. And 2 times... 3 is 6, 2, 1, 1, 9 plus, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 5 more is 5, bring your 1 up, 6 plus 2 is 8, 9, and then there are 1, 2, 3 places to the right side of the decimal, so 1, 2, 3 places, 9.512. As I noticed, the reality is they gave you a multiplication question that has multiple choice answers. They're not always going to do that. So if they do, use it to your advantage if you need the additional time. If you have a timed test, for instance, it's a good idea to go ahead and quickly knock out a few problems ahead of time. This is one that you could have done almost immediately. This is, I'm just looking at the ones, I could see it had to be more than six, right? So I was down to two things highly unlikely that these numbers, 0.9 is pretty big, that it's just going to give you 18 hundredths. It seemed very unlikely. But I could think, oh, this is almost 3, and this is over 3, so 3 times 3 is 9, so it virtually had to be this one. Can you do the algorithm and still get the answer? Absolutely. If you have a time limit on this test, should you waste time doing it if you don't need to do it? No. Do it, mark it that you need to come back to it at some point if you have time, circle C, and then move on with your life. But then you can, and then at the end, if you have time, you come back in and fix it when you're going over your answers, just to check. But in the short term, use what you have available to you to your advantage, and you can save a bunch of time and get the correct answer.